Good afternoon folks. Welcome back to another exciting video out here. I actually just got off the water a little bit ago. I fished the entire morning for like five hours at this lake and I caught one fish. One fish, I really tried, I promise. Like I was out there grinding with my fly rod, throwing black leeches like that. I lost two of them, so rip. But yeah, I only ended up catching one fish. It was a good fish, fat rainbow, which we're gonna cook up here in a second. And then I swung and missed on three more. So not the best day, not my worst day either. But I did record that obviously, so throw that in right now. Here we go, fish on, fish on, good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He's coming right at my feet. Holy cow, holy cow. That's a good fish. Hooked up, boys. First fish of the morning. Get in here, bud. What the heck? He's like caught on something. I can't, he's caught on something. What in the world? He's got like a line wrapped around him and it's snagged on a rock. He's literally trapped. See if I can get him. Got him, got him. Oh, yep, look at that. He's got another line hooked to him. First fish of the day, stud rainbow. Got him on the black leech, but look at that. He's got a bunch of line hanging from his mouth. Somebody already caught him with power bait or something because he's bleeding pretty bad. I think we might have to keep this dude. Go ahead and get my leech out of his mouth. Boom, right there. Little black balanced leech. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep this fish because he was bleeding a little bit. So. This guy's gonna be lunch for us, but check it out. That is a solid rainbow right there. He's gonna taste delicious. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We kind of got a tangled mess. So here's my fly. It's tangled up in this other line. What in the world? How did this dude get, oh my gosh. Okay, think I got it, yep. All right, so here's my line, got my leech. And then this dude was like, I got him like within five feet and then he just kind of stopped. He wasn't, he wasn't coming in. And it turns out he snagged on this line. Hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Got a big circle hook and a giant split shot weight. Just snagged right here. Well, I'm glad we could get this out of the lake. It almost cost me that fish. Three hours later. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right when the wind starts blowing, I just got bit. That was the first bite I've had in two hours. Right here in front of me. Literally at the tip of my rod. I just had a fish. And yeah, I kept that fish, filleted him up, and I got him right here. Can't wait to cook these up. So yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't catch more fish. I really did try, I promise. I guess I'm just trash with the fly rod. I don't know. What was interesting is it was dead calm all morning. Dead calm, which is not good. I always say how much I dislike the wind, but in reality, dead calm days are not good for fishing. You always want a little bit of a breeze. So didn't really have the luck on my side in that regard this morning. And then at noon, the wind picked up so much that I couldn't even cast out. But yeah, anyway, that's just the way she goes sometimes. Times. But I'm gonna get a fire going and then we'll get to cooking because I've got a Recipe that I haven't tried in some time and I think it's gonna be pretty good So we got a fire pit right here that someone else has used That's one nice thing about just being out here You rarely ever have to make your own fire pit because there's always one somewhere grab some dry grass That looks like it'll burn pretty good All right, so I've gathered up some firewood. There's a lot of deadfall and dry branches in this area, so. So I got some fire starter here. I'm just gonna pull it apart, just like that. And check this out. Got a pyro lighter here. That's a laser, boys and girls. Boom, just like that. Got this dry bark, that should catch oh yep that was quick that was quick all right so for the recipe we got going on today I got some beer batter I was at the store 
looking for some fish fry and this is the only one they had they had no other fish fry but I've had beer batter before and it was very good and instead of mixing beer with it I've got some sprite which can be used as a substitute I also got a red potato and an onion I'm gonna try to make some onion rings hopefully works out I don't know first thing we got to do is slice and dice our fries by the way, this isn't the same fillet knife that I use to clean my fish. I have two of these fillet knives. I love them, they're cheap. And I use one for cleaning fish, and I use this one for cutting up whatever else I need. All right, so we got our fries. I'll just go ahead and put them in our pan here for now. And there we go, we got our onions all cut up. Toss them in with our potatoes. So I'm gonna take my beer batter, take my bag, Pour in a bunch of this. And I'm just gonna pour in, not too much. I want it to be really thick. I don't want it to be too watery. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take these onion rings and kind of use those as a test just put a few of them in for now. Now we're gonna set our pan on right there. That flame is actually a little bit too hot. Take our oil. Ooh. All right, that is good. All right, we'll wait for that oil to heat up. Shouldn't take more than two, three minutes. Take our onion. Let's see if this oil is hot enough. Yeah, it's hot enough. Go ahead and set it in there. Not a ton of the batter stuck to them. Not as much as I wanted. Well, this is gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a good one. Oh, look at that. And these should cook pretty quick. Oh yeah, look at that. Already golden brown. Ooh, that's a hot fire. Ooh. There we go, looking good. All right, these ones are done. Set them on our napkin there. All right, before we sample those onion rings, I'm gonna let them cool. And in the meantime, we're gonna toss these fish in here. Look at that. I'm gonna do a whole filet. I'm not gonna cut them up in pieces or anything. If they can both fit, I mean, it was a pretty fat fish. Gotta make sure both these fillets get fully coated. I want them nice and crunchy. Oh gosh. All right, let's, let's try this out. Okay, okay, looking good. Got plenty of batter on it. See if we can fit both of them in. Yeah. Yep. All right, there we go. I was gonna set our potatoes and onion rings in with them, but there's not really any room. Now I'm gonna sample one of these onion rings. It actually looks really good. That's amazing. Dude, that is good. That's just like any onion ring you'd have at a restaurant. Go ahead and turn these fish over. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hold on. If I can even flip it over, jeez. All right, we'll give them a couple minutes on that side. I'll be good. All right, these should be done. Oh yeah, nice and golden on that side. And it's gonna fall apart here. Ooh. There we go, put it on our pan. That's gonna be our plate. And then we do have these potatoes, so might as well cook some of them. I'll toss a few of those in. Oh, I forgot my spatula. What a freaking pain. Okay, there we go. 
There we go. Boom. Check that out, folks. Fresh rainbow trout. We'll break off a piece. Beer battered trout with Sprite. That's good. It's more chewy than crunchy. It does have a good flavor and it is a little bit sweet. You can actually taste the Sprite. There's just a slight little hint of sweetness. There we go. Now, if that isn't the most cowboy meal I've ever seen, we have our vegetables and our meat. Fish is good. We've got our fried onions right here. They're not really onion rings anymore. Just fried onions with a little batter on them. Which, honestly, that's my favorite thing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Hopefully next video, we will catch more fish. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.